Today we will discuss multivariable optimization problem with equality constants. Uh, so we will solve one problem uh, through uh, direct substitution method. And how to use direct substitution method and uh, how to get the minimum and maximum of the multivariable uh, function using the uh, equality constants that we will uh, see. So the problem is given and the problem here it says that we have to so find the minimum value of x square plus y square plus z square. So it will be like some spherical uh, type of graph it will represent. So we have to find this uh, minimum of this function using this constant. So we can write it as uh, we have to minimize f of x that equal to x square plus y square plus z square subject to x plus y plus 2z equal to 2l. So here we can say that this x is nothing but uh, three component factor that is x, y, z factor. Okay, this factor. So we have to find x, y, z so that this value is minimum. So uh, how to do? We have to use direct substitution method. So what to do? So from this constant, this equality constant, we have to write one variable in terms of other. Okay. So um, how we can write this equation? I can write it as z equal to 12 minus x minus y divided by 2. Okay. Now we got this. So we got z value. Now what to do? We have to substitute this value on this objective function. So what will be our new objective function that I can write it as f of x, capital F of x that will be what? x square plus y square plus in place of z it will be 12 minus x minus y divided by 2. Okay, that whole square. So what will happen if we simplify it, it will be x square plus y square plus 1 by 4 into what? 12 minus x minus y whole square. So now we can see that this f of x is a function of what? Only two variables. This is x and y. This x and y. Okay. So what to do? Now we converted this uh, equality problem to no constant problem. So the procedure is simple that how to use uh, the classical method to find the minimum. The same thing we have to use here. So first we have to see the necessary condition. Necessary condition says that del f by del x equal to del f by del y equal to 0 as we have two variables. So it will be del f by del x equal to del f by del y equal to 0. So we have to find del f by del x. So uh, this is the function with respect to x. If we do so it will be 2x okay plus this square of this so 2 into 1 by 2 so it will be 1 by 2 okay so 12 minus minus x minus y into minus 1 so it will be 2x minus 1 by 2 times 12 minus x minus y okay like that then same we have to do del f by del y so if I uh, take the derivative with respect to y so it will be what? 2y minus 1 by 2 so finally we will get these things minus x minus y so now what to do we have to use this property so del f by del x equal to 0 del f by del y equal to 0 means del f by del x equal to 0 implies 2x equal to 1 by 2 times 12 minus x minus y similarly del f by del y equal to 0 means 2y equal to 1 by 2 times 12 minus x minus y so from this two equation what I can write this right side will be same so 2x equal to 2y that implies x equal to y so whatever is the x value the same y will get so then how to find the numerical value of uh, x and y so we have to put x value here or y value here then we can get so we can write this equation so 2x uh, equal to 
what? 1 by 2 into 12 minus x minus x in, in terms of what? In place of y it will be x. So what will happen? <coughs> 2x will be 1 by 2 times 12 minus 2x. So finally you will get 3x equal to what? 6. Okay. That means x equal to 2. So as x equal to 2, we have y equal to 2. Now what to do? Using x and y we have to find z. As z is a third variable, so here we have to put x, y value. Then we will get z. So z will be 12 minus 2 minus 2 by 2. So it will be what? 4. That means z equal to 4. So what we got? We got our extreme point okay so extreme point is 2 comma 2 comma 4 so this is the extreme point now what to do we have to take the nature at this point if uh, at this point we will get minimum value then that's it we have done now we got the extreme point 2 to 2, 2 so we will apply the sufficient uh, condition so sufficient condition says that we have to find the hessian matrix for hessian matrix we have to find uh, del 2 f by del x2 so del 2 f by del x2 will be what derivative with respect to x of this so we will get this 2 then minus of minus 1 by 2 so it will be 5 by 2 ok similarly del 2 f by del y2 will be what derivative with respect to y so it will be 2 then 1 by 2 into minus of 1 and minus will be plus so 2 plus 1 by 2 so 5 by 2 now next del 2 f by del x del y so already we have found uh, this with respect to del x now you have to find with respect, to, with respect to y so what will happen this term will be 0 so only this term will get so what is the value plus of 1 by 2 Okay, similarly del 2f by del uh, y del x will be 1 by 2. Now the Hessian matrix will be what? Hessian matrix will be del 2f by del x2, del 2f by del x, del y, del 2f by del y del x, del 2f by del y2. Okay, so this is the Hessian matrix. So for Hessian matrix, if I put the value, and at point 2 to 4 we are calculating so it will be what it will be uh, 5 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 5 by 2 so this matrix now we have to find the what minus principal minus so principal minus h1 will be this one so it will be 5 by 2 then uh, next principal minus h2 h2 will be determinant value of this matrix so it will be what 25 by this 4 minus what 1 by 4 so it will be 24 by 4 that is what 6 no, now this is positive and this is positive as all the minus are or all the principal minus are positive so H is what positive definite so if this Asian matrix is positive definite then what happens then this point because we are finding at this point so 2 to 4 will be the minimum point ok so at this point what is the function value that we have to calculate so the function value f of x at this point will be 2 square plus 2 square plus 4 square so this will be the minimum value so what is that this is 4 plus 4 8 plus 16 so 24 is the answer so minimum volume or minimum volume of the sphere will be 24 unit